I recently saw an interview with uh, Yuval Harari, the famous author of Sapiens, and uh, he was saying that digital evolution will overtake biological evolution. So I don't feel that's going to happen. I think digital evolution and biological evolution are going to go hand in hand and are in a way unstoppable. Uh, because, you know, once the technology happens, we can't go back. We can't go back on the internet. We can't go back on television. We can't go back on radio. We can't go back on artificial intelligence. So the digital evolution is on the horizon. We can't go back on it. But if we understand that ultimately consciousness conceives, governs, constructs, everything that we call perceived reality, which is the collective dreamscape and our body minds are part of that, then the, the possibilities with digital and biological evolution are endless. So let's, uh, uh, let's uh, explore this a little bit. Digital evolution is rapidly advancing and increasingly influencing biological evolution in profound ways. As technology becomes more sophisticated and integrated into our lives, it is shaping the selective pressures and evolutionary trajectories of humans and also other species. One key way digital evolution impacts biological evolution is by altering our environment and the challenges we face. Technologies like medicine, agriculture, and infrastructure have dramatically changed human survival and reproductive pressures. This has led to shifts in which traits are selected for or against in human populations. For example, advances in healthcare allow individuals with certain genetic conditions to survive and reproduce when they may not have been able to do so previously. Additionally, digital technologies are beginning to directly interface with and augment biological systems, brain-computer interfaces, genetic engineering, and other emerging fields blur the, the line between digital and biological evolution. As these technologies pro progress, they may allow for more direct and rapid modifications to genomes and phenotypes than traditional evolutionary processes. The accelerate, accelerating pace of technological change also means digital evolution operates at on a much faster time scale than biological evolution. This creates a dynamic where our biological traits and instincts shaped over millennia must rapidly adapt to dramatically different environments and pressures introduced by technology. Some argue that this mismatch between our evolved traits and modern environments contributes to various social and health issues. Furthermore, artificial intelligence and digital organisms provide new substrates for evolutionary processes to occur. These digital entities can, involve, uh, can evolve and adapt much more rapidly than biological organisms. As AI systems become more sophisticated, they may begin to influence the evolution of biological species in complex ways, potentially even surpassing biological intelligence. However, it is important to note that biological and digital evolution are not separate or in opposition. Rather, they are increasingly intertwined and co-evolving systems. Our biological traits shape how we develop technology, while our technologies in turn influence our biology. In other words, digital evolution and biological evolution will be entangled. This creates a complex feedback loop between digital and biological evolution. So this is very premature right now, but I am suggesting that digital evolution 
will not entirely supplant biological evolution as Harari may have uh, suggested. Maybe he didn't, but that's the impression I got. Uh, it is becoming, um, digital evolution is be going to become and is becoming an increasingly dominant force shaping the future of life on Earth. As technology advances, the boundaries between digital and biological systems will likely continue to blur, leading to novel evolutionary dynamics and possibilities. Understanding and responsibly guiding this process will be crucial for humanity's future. This is where MetaHuman comes in, because MetaHuman hypothesis that we are conscious beings that actually shape both biological evolution and now digital evolution. And the future is science fiction becoming science. But science as a model to explain this assumed identity and the universe um, that we are exploring. Meta-human will still be in charge because consciousness is fundamental. Now, all these ideas might be scary, but every new technology is scary. As I said, once technology comes, then there's no going back and technology can be used both for divine and diabolical purposes. It's very important that the evolution of consciousness um, holds first place. And that means self-awareness. Self-awareness will allow us to shape the future of life on this planet and even resurrect extinct species. Jurassic Park may be coming back and all because consciousness at all times is infinite possibilities for manifestation. Okay, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and don't be scared. The future is here. The brave new world of Aldous Huxley is here and even beyond that.